He says, moreover, only through reason, through the ability of knowledge, does that man arise who can come into correlation with God. Considered from God's view too, reason is the condition by virtue of which God can come into correlation with man. In other words, that correlation, this term correlation for Cohen, gives man a tremendous amount of, of honor vis-a-vis -vis God. And Cohen is telling us here, you know what? To some extent, God is dependent on the human being, right? Reciprocal dependence. Let's look up uh, the German, just, I guess it's Abhängigkeit, uh, but um, let me just double check. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Gegenseitige Bedingtheit. Interesting. Uh, it's interesting a little bit because Bedingtheit, I would have thought, I would have guessed that the German would be uh, Abhängigkeit. Abhängig is the probably the most correct translate, uh, German for dependence. Why am I sticking? Why am I, why am I concerned with this word? Because dependence it implies hierarchy. It implies hierarchy, right? If I depend on somebody, like a child, I depend on my father, I depend on my mother. So if we say God depends on man, it implies a hierarchy. So, so in German, if it, it would have said Abhängigkeit, then that would have been that hierarchy. But here, it doesn't say that. It's interesting, right? That Gegenseitig means, Seite is side, Gegenseitig means by both sides. But Bedingtheit, is not Abhängigkeit. Bedingtheit means conditioned. It's bedingt. It has a, it's, it's, it's reciprocally conditioned. Interdependence. So this is why I'm hesitant. This is why I wanted to look this up. Because interdependence doesn't mean a hierarchy. It means that well, it, yes and no. I, I, I don't know. Maybe we're splitting hairs here. Maybe not. But at least I want to be precise because, because Zoltan is raising a point which has some validity to it. Because at least I'm saying your point you know, it's good that we looked that up in the cone because maybe cone wouldn't go that far. I don't know. Again, because abhengi, if we had said depend, mutual dependence, it's like I depend on my wife, she depends on me. If, if it wasn't for me, you know, my wife would have to go work and make money. If it wasn't for her, I'd be eating sandwiches, you know, and, and cereal all my life. Whatever, we depend on each other. Because there's things that she does for me that I have a hard time doing for myself and vice versa, right? So there's a type of hierarchy and codependence is that relationship, right? Now, if we apply that term to God and humanity, we would say that there's something that we do that God can't. And that's a hard, I think that's what Zoltan is objecting to is that that's a very radical thing to say that. I, that God's omnipotence is limited vis-a-vis -vis me? That's weird, right? That's what we, I don't think that's what we say. What we say is that we are something that God isn't. And okay. that's a little bit different. What is the German, so, German is Bedingtheit. Gegenseit, yeah. Yeah, diese Gegenseitige, I'll write it in German. In the word. Is, a, is a condition. Something is conditioned in a certain, in a certain respect. So Bedingtheit is conditioning, I guess we would try, it's in English, I, I see why the translator translated dependence, it's more natural English, rather than to say reciprocal conditioning, it sounds a bit weird and abstract, but maybe it is worth, focus, uh, maybe it's worth paying respect to this word that Cohen uses, precisely because it's not mutual dependence, it's not that God depends on us, but God is, it's not completely off, because God is conditioned by us, according to correlation. Remember, this is a, the term, the key term here uh, that Cohen uses is correlation, correlation. Same, same in English, same in Latin, right? Correlation. There is a give and take. 